Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be installing the Koryakin Kinetic Mini Boards on my 2021 Sport Glide. Stay tuned. So let's open up these packages and see what's inside. Okay. Super excited for these. It took me a lot of time <laughs> to find these particular floorboards in black. They had them in chrome all over the place, but I couldn't find them in black until I decided to look on Amazon and there was one set left. Okay, so there's the boards and then these seem somewhat important <laughs> let's take a peek this is what the boards look like sleek and black with little rubber pads here they do have the three positions so that i can pick and choose where i want them and i already know that i want to move them back towards myself as much as possible and then there's a second one of exactly the same thing, or you would hope. <laughs> yes, awesome. I am excited. These feel very heavy and solid. It's all metal, except for the rubber pads on top. So no plastic monkey business, like some motorcycle parts sometimes are. These are real. Okay. And then we have the instructions, I assume. Let's take a quick peek. There's a couple of bolts, a couple of washers. Okay, I have no idea where these are gonna be used, but we'll find out. And then these boards came without the um, actual adapters. So I had to go and get also the splined adapters that are gonna make this work on my sport glide. So these are also supposed to be black. They come in both black and chrome. Oh, these are heavy. So they have these little teeth that make it adjustable for the angle. All right, and there's a second one. So, installation instructions. All right, let's get closer to the bike and figure this out. There's gonna be some springs and stuff involved here, which freak me right out because me and springs usually don't get along. They fly all over the place. I don't even wanna say the word lose them. <laughs> so let's, let's hope that I don't have to get, go there. Okay. Okay, so clearly I need to start by removing my existing pegs and then installing the adapters. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start with this peg on this side here. There is a spring that I have to be careful about removing. And there is a little, I forget what this is called, a C-clip or something like that. So this needs to be removed probably with a pair of pliers. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I don't lose this. So that's gonna be step number one. Oh wow, this was a pain. I just bent it a little bit, but I think I can just bend it back pretty easily with my pliers. 
Okay. And pull out the pin. I find that when you push the peg in, it comes out easier. It's because of that spring here. Let's make sure it's not gonna fly. Okay, so it's important also to kind of see how the spring is attached. There's a little hole in the peg, so it goes in the hole and then it goes into a hole that's actually right here. So, okay, I got this off. This was painful and I think I scratched it up a little bit, which is a bummer. So next we're gonna install the adapter. So the adapter, I don't know if this is focusing, there's a little hole here. So I will have to put the spring into the hole and then You see that there's a little hole right here in the, I don't know the technical term for this thing. <laughs> uh, I guess that's like the something control something. So it's gonna go in the hole here, just like that. I hope that this was gonna clear enough. And then we're gonna put the pin through. Oh wow, this is fun. <sighs> Frick. Okay. There we go. So if it doesn't work, just wiggle this thing back and forth here until you get it. Whew. I guess it would be really handy to have like a rubber mallet, but you can use the old foot bag. Until you see a little line here, and I assume we'll have to put this clip back on. How are we gonna do that? <laughs> I did not just swear, I did not swear. You were imagining it. Oh, okay. So the clip is back on. There we go. Okay. And now the floorboard itself. I know that I want it as far back as possible. I'm fairly short. So I'll be using probably the furthest hole for this guy here. All right. Also, the floorboards appear to be completely symmetrical. So it doesn't seem to matter which goes to which side. Yeah, they're completely symmetrical. So it doesn't, doesn't matter. I guess you need to hand tighten this quite a bit before anything else. Or I guess you could use like an Allen key. You know what? I'm gonna undo this and put some Loctite. You know me and my Loctite from my optician days. You need Loctite on everything. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna sneak it in between here. Again, you don't need a lot of this stuff. Oh wow. Okay, so should I be ever scratching my uh, should I ever scratch my floorboards? It's gonna hit the pipe. Just so you guys know. But the first one is done. That's what it looks like. definitely gives you more surface but I'm almost wondering if I should angle it just a little Okay, so this was not hard by any means. It's just finicky. Like the hardest part was to get that E-clip off. But it's done. And I'm going to move on to the second one now. Hopefully I learned something from installing the first one so that the second one is going to go easier. But I love the way it looks. And the, first, the one thing I already noticed just from just sitting on it with one foot up is that it does lift your feet up like it angles your knees differently all right here we go again with this dang clip Again, this tank thing got bent a little, but it's pretty easy to just bend it right back. They're softer than you would think. Just make sure that when you put it back, you actually get it into that groove so that you're not gonna lose your equipment while riding. So, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Oh. Oh, push the foot bag back a little bit that way as you pull out the pe uh, pin. And then you can remove this guy. Oh, what am I going to do with these Christmas decorations? earrings <laughs> can you imagine so again like on the previous one make sure that the curvy side goes up find the little hole you have to create some tension and start feeding the pin through. This part is like the least fun. <sighs> Replace the E clip. Make sure it's nice and straight. That's back on. And then the board. 
clearly unless you are gonna have an interesting individual you probably want to use the same method of putting or you know pick the same setting for this side as you have on the other side teeny bit of loctite So again, should you be leaning over like a crazy person, this is what happens. But I think the engine guard will touch the ground before these guys. So I think we're okay here. And seriously, I'm not the crazy rider anyway. I like to smell the roses. like this it's definitely a different uh, position for your foot like I feel like I need to hook my toe under the shifter a little bit more than if it was just the pegs and I think it's because my heel is not just hanging like it is with the pegs like I actually yeah it's gonna be just a little bit different but I love the look of these Hmm. I love it. I love it. I have to take it out for a ride. I can't do it today because it's raining, but I'm going to try this out as soon as the rain is gone. I think tomorrow is supposed to be a nicer day and on Sunday I have a ride with Alida's Up Island. So I'll be giving you some reviews. So, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other adventures and uh, upgrades and rides and things like that. And I'm going to see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching.